I led them with cords of kindness, with the bands of love. And I became to them as one who eases the yoke on their jaws. And I bent down to them and fed them. Shalom, shalom, folks. It's Brother Tender from Something to Chew on. Coming in, going to do a, another read-along update for you. And I know I say it every week, but this week I mean it. I promise. This video is going to be very short. I'll explain why in a second. Let's do this read along. Let's do this update. Get that out of the way. And I'll explain to you. Okay. Uh, the videos I worked on last week to get them uploaded was 1 Corinthians. They had that. All videos have been made and the entire playlist is finished and uploaded to YouTube. And as always, the link to that full playlist will be in the description below along with all the other links to all the other read-along playlists. If you're new, oh, let me say this. Welcome to all the new subscribers. In the past week, actually the past two weeks, I've had quite a few subscribers for, you know, my little small channel. So if you're new, thank you and welcome aboard. Like, share, all that good stuff. You know how it goes. Um, But, uh, if you're new and you don't understand what these read-along playlists are, just scroll down into the description below and you'll see a link to all these different books in the Bible. All it is is basically a it's a read-along playlist. It's audio set to the scripture scrolling up the screen and they're set to the scripture version 2009 or the ISR. Um, if you're familiar with that translation. That's all it is. And I've been going through working I don't know, four, five, six months, I've been going through doing a playlist for every book in the Bible. So, for example, Genesis has 50 chapters. Therefore, there's 50 individual videos in that playlist, one for every chapter. Okay? Um, but, like I was saying, the book I did last week, or this past week, was 1 Corinthians. It's finished. All the videos are made. It's all on YouTube, and the playlist is there. The link will be in the description below, along with the link to all the other ones. Okay, the vote on the table last week was between the Book of Micah and 2 Chronicles, and 2 Chronicles 1, okay? So, as always, I'll have those I've done the first five, I think is what it is. I think it's five. I've done the first five videos. They're made. They're not on YouTube yet, but they're made. Um, and as always, most high willing, I'll have them all finished and uploaded by next Shabbat. Okay, and I'll say this. Being that that is one of the longer chapters that I have remaining from the Tanakh or the Old Testament. I, th I believe it's, I think it's 36 chapters. Here, let, let, let's look for just a second. Let me make sure of that. I think there's 36 chapters in 2 Chronicles. Yeah, 36 chapters in 2 Chronicles. And like I said, it's, it's one of the longer ones I have remaining from the top Tanakh. That's a long one. So uh, I may... I may end up doing, making like the first 10 videos and then turning around and uploading them and then coming back and do some more videos and then uploading them. You see what I'm saying? Instead of doing them all at once and then uploading them all at once. Kind of spread the work out a little bit throughout the week. But either way, like I always, most high willing, I'll have it all completed. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'll have them all, all the videos completed and uploaded into a playlist on YouTube. Okay, now with that out of the way, the vote on hand this week is going to be between the other long book still remaining to be made from the Tanakh, or the Old Testament, and that would be the book of Job. And since we just finished 1 Corinthians, we're going to 2 Corinthians. So that's a vote this week between Job or 2 Corinthians. So pause the video and go below in the comment section and vote for which one you want me to wait, make next. And as always, I'll make the announcement next week. Okay, now with all that said, get that out of the way. Like I said, this video is going to be short, and I promise you. I had a house guest this week, um, basically for the 
for the most of the week, and they finally left last night. So, with that said, I haven't had a chance to actually sit down and prepare anything. <laughs> so, I'm just simply going to give a word of encouragement. And I know in these times today, we all feel like we're in a rat race. We've got a lot of things going on. Got a million ping pong balls to move. And you can only move one at a time. All you got to do is pick up one and move it. Slow and steady wins the race, as they say. But in these times when we get, quote unquote, stressed out, we feel like the weight of the world is on our shoulders, I encourage you to stop and take a moment. Go into your closet and pray. And a peace which surpasses all understanding will guard our hearts and our minds. Let's just read one verse. Really? I had it pulled up. Now it's not going to come up. There it is. Let's just turn to Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 20. And I'm going to read this today out of the Scripture version 2009. Got it highlighted for you right there on the screen. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20 from the Scripture version 2009 on the ISR. It says, Giving thanks always for all to Elohim the Father in the name of our Master Yahushua Messiah. Notice right here. It says, giving thanks always for all. For all. That's what I want to draw your attention to. For all. We give thanks for all things to the Father and the name of the Master. Now someone might say, how can we give thanks for all things? Because we know that all things work together for our good. James, first chapter, says, Count it all joy when you face trials of various kinds. Because we know it leads to perfection. Let patience have a perfect work. Is that not what it says? I say, Be encouraged. When life seems to run you over like a steamroller, you got the weight of the world on your shoulders, stop. Let the master seek a place of solitude. Go into your closet and cast your cares on him because he cares for us. Remember, I love you. He loves you. And you're doing a great job. And with that, just remember, Job or 2 Corinthians, vote in the comment section below. And as always, don't just read this thing, but study it. Shalom, shalom, folks.